is the next step. We've already got all this data. All right. So once you have already obtained this data, you've got to plot the time and RT. RT against time. So I've already done that. It looks like this. Okay. So you have already got a nice curve. So you've got to see the RT, the uh, the percentage removal of 65% from there. And we are hoping that the time would be, this is 0 0.8, this is 1. So it's about 0 0.9 something, perhaps 9.4 or 9.5 or something. Okay. So that's how you know the time. So why do we need to know the time? Once you know the time, that means if you have a sedimentation tank, okay, the water, the, the, the water coming from the flocculation uh, tank has got to stay in that sedimentation tank for 0 0.9 hour, 0 0.95 hours. There, then only it will be able to remove 65% of the particles. That's what it means. We also have to plot another line, okay, RT against the V0. So I've already got the, uh, the result like this. This is the RT, this is the V0. So they say that they want to see the 65% removal. So look at your 65% there, bring it here. So the V0 is actually a little bit more than 50. So something like perhaps 52 or something, okay, 52%. That means, you remember the second type of question? They give you the efficiency, which is 65%. You have to find out the V0. So this is the V0 that you want to find, which is 52. Okay, so that is the process. It's a bit tedious. You've got to plot at least two graphs. Okay, why do I say two graphs? The first graph is this kind of graph. Okay, and then it has to proceed with at least one of these, either this or that. Actually, you don't have to plot two, but I'm just showing that you can plot two if you are so uh, hardworking, okay? So you just plot one, you get the 65%, and then you've got one time, and then from that time, you, you can also find out your V0, yeah, you see? Because the height is always two, so the column is two, two meters, and then divided by whatever time that you have from here. Right, so they actually have already drawn the diagram for you if you refer to the figure B. So this is a plot for the RT against H, the one that I've also drawn it in the Excel. So if you're not mistaken, uh, if you want to see, this is actually 0 0.58 hour, which is equivalent to uh, 35 minutes, our first data. You see the removal is 60%. And that point is the 0 0.75 hour, and that is correspond to 63% removal. And this point is actually 1.27 hour, which is equivalent to 76 minutes. And that corresponds to 68%. Then you have your 65% there. This is 60, there's 70, so 60% is in the middle. So you draw one line there, and we have to go down to find out our H, which is 0 0.9 hour or equivalent to 54 minutes. Okay. Okay. Right. Can I change to another slide? Yes. Right, okay, we look at the C's also. This is the plot of RT against the overflow rate. The same thing, okay? That is 82.3, uh, uh, 82 which is uh, the V0 that you produce when you have times is equal to 35 minutes. And it gives you 59.4. And then we have another point, 64 V0. This is when you have the 44, uh, 45 minutes time. And that will give you the RT to be 63. And then the last point is this one, okay, 57.9. And that will give you 68% of the RT. And then we are interested with 65. So 65 is there. Go down the line, we'll obtain our V0 to be 50 meter per day. Okay. Okay, can I move to the next slide? You look, uh, read really careful on the questions. Design a settling tank to remove 65%. So they want a data for settling tank. 
but these are using the column okay they want to design a tank but this data is from the column so do we need to do anything with the result that we have obtained you see we have already obtained your v naught 50 okay so this is from the experiment using settling column but we would like to design design a tank do we need to do anything with this result we have to times anything perhaps no no okay that's a good attempt but in reality is we have to times with a scale up factor because we are doing the experiment using second column that's not real that's in the, in the lab okay that's a second column of two meters now we, if you want to design a tank a real tank okay the height of the tank is two meters so you need to times or to multiply with the scale up factor so your v naught is 50 and our scale up factor is 0 0.65 so in re for the real design of the tank in the real world okay would be the v naught is 32.5 per uh, 32.5 meter per day so is the case as the time the time from our graph we obtain it to be 54 minutes you need to times with the scale up factor because this one is from experiment. We are designing the real tank. So you need to times with the scale up factor. That means the time in the tank, the real tank that you would like to design, has got to be 95 minutes. Or in other words, the tank that you design, make sure that the, the detention time in the tank is 95 minutes in order for you to remove 65% of the suspended solid and uh, the scale up factor is fixed or we can get in the question uh, it is a fixed value it's a fixed value. it is being informed in, in the in the exam in the notes okay oh, yeah, whether, yeah, yeah. whether it will be given in exam or not it really depends on the lecturer who set up the questions some lecturers they are kind they tell you the uh, scale up factor some lecture may not be that kind. They assume student memorize.